the final three days of the NHL regular season, and there is so much to determine before one of the best postseasons in all of sports. That's the Stanley Cup playoffs. You need the advice on the ice, so enter Casey Hudson. Joining us once again, live right here on this Tuesday morning on the early line. Casey, I've been checking the mailbox each and every day for the past week since you were here last week on the early line. I know Donnie Wrightside's been doing the same in South Jersey. I have not got my Tampa Bay Lightning jersey just yet, but I'll keep checking for the sweater. It's coming. Custom stitching because okay. we've got the nicknames wow. now. So we got Wrightside and Recap, and I want it to look perfect for you guys. So Saturday morning, That's check good. the mail. Wow. Right side and recap. That's good. Get Ben a jersey. I like that. Forget That's about good. a regular jersey. Just give him a jersey. Give me the jersey. All good. What do you get? A jersey? Why? No, you get a jersey. I get a jersey. Yeah, there you go. That's what I said. Yeah. But you're a huh. Flyers fan. I have no NHL team affiliation. Thus, I can go fully in on the Bolts this postseason. You're a Flyers fan, and Philly's still in the hunt, DRS. All right, we'll get to the Eastern Ugh. Conference playoff race in just <laughs> a moment. Support. But now to actual business. Yesterday, Casey, inside Madison Square Garden, the Rangers win once again. They blank the Ottawa Senators for nothing. And what does that mean? New York has now claimed the best record in the NHL this regular season, otherwise known as the President's Trophy. Should the Rangers be celebrating winning the President's Trophy and the best team in the NHL's regular season? Absolutely, at least for my case and anybody else in the Eastern Conference, you want them to be excited about the President's Trophy curse um, because it, the President's Trophy keeps doing what it does so well. It knocks these teams out when they think they have a fighting chance to hoist the cup. So uh, as a Tampa Bay Lightning coverage person, I'm psyched about this. But I will say the Rangers have very much earned uh, their point streaks, their their W's, as well as the President's Trophy. Yeah, it should be interesting to say, again, you still want to be that team with 114 points headed in. I don't think many teams are like, sure. oh, no, it's a curse because we're not a good team. But it sort of stacks up and shows you really how hard it is to win the Stanley Cup through all of those rounds. You get good goalie play, you get knocked out as a top seed. We see that many times in the past. Talking about a team that was one of those top seeds in the past, those Pittsburgh Penguins that were left for dead at the trade deadline here, seemingly making a surge into the playoffs with a big victory last night against the Predators. Sidney Crosby be Casey he won't go away oh yeah he's not taking no for an answer but aside from Crosby and Malkin and obviously the acquisition of Carlson who's tremendous on walking the blue line where my eyes gravitate to is Michael Bunting I loved his play with the Bruins last year his momentum the way that he picked up his play gearing into playoffs and then even though they had that drop he was a tremendous clutch player for the Bruins during playoffs um, I love him going to the Hurricanes, and I love him even more with the Penguins because he's picked up two goals in the last game, in the last two games, and he's just so consistent for this team. He creates passing lanes and opportunities, and he's such a threat in traffic. And Sidney Crosby's feeding off of it. That's how he acquired one of his goals last night, cleaning up a rebound from Michael Bunting, who was just a threat uh, net front yesterday. So they have a lot of good players. They have a lot of good playmakers. They can alleviate Crosby, but Crosby's just that clutch guy. If you yeah. lose going into playoffs by one point last season, you're going to have a painful, painful, painful ache in your chest. <laughs> That's where the Penguins lie. And they lost that game to the Blackhawks. It was greater than a $3 favorite. I still remember it very, very well. The Pittsburgh Penguins needed to win last night on home ice against the Preds, and the Pens did that. They're a point behind two teams right now in the wild card race. If the season ended today, it does not. There's still one more game for everybody else around the NHL. The Capitals would be in that second and final wild card spot in the Eastern Conference. It is the only playoff spot still up for grabs. we got to figure out some seed line throughout the rest of the Stanley mm. Cup postseason. But we'll talk about all the teams, Casey, including the Penguins in the hunt for that second and final wild card spot out east. That includes the Red Wings at home last night in the Motor City. It went to overtime. It was dicey against the Canadians. Detroit was a minus 225 home money line favorite and they do make good on the number. The OT winner, the Red Wings, survive 5-4. to four. How significant was the victory for Detroit last night? Oh, beyond significant. I think, if anything, it kind of tampered with the Penguins' hopes and dreams yet again of making the playoffs. Um, a lot of people counted them out of that game, especially because nobody kind of saw that comeback in the third period and the OT win. 
But this team has forced three overtimes consecutively, and they've won two of those three overtimes. They're so hard to keep out of the third period, but they're very, very offensively, high offensively weapon team. It's keeping the puck out of their net, which has been problematic. But uh, last time we got a chance to talk last week, I talked about Alex Line and how tremendous he's been, especially his goals above expectancy. And if he can clean that up tonight, then you're looking at the Red Wings being a problem where the Penguins have to face the Islanders who are really playing themselves right now. So Gossip Spear, tremendous mm-hmm. acquisition. I love his play. He's helping outsider quite a bit. Their defense has to lock in just a bit more in order for them to secure a playoff spot. The Ghost, a former flyer here doing big things on the national stage. And by the way, the Philadelphia Flyers on life support. Why? It feels like everybody that needed to win Casey last night to make the playoffs did just that. The Red Wings with that big comeback down 4-1. to one. You take a look at the Penguins here where a slight dog price against the Predators. They won. And then take a look at the Capitals. 2 to nothing here over the Boston Bruins. A big time win here. Ovechkin still trying to get back into the playoffs just like Sidney Crosby. Those aging vets trying to lead their team down the stretch that was a nice win for the caps last night oh my gosh and it was pretty unexpected we know the capitals have a top defense but shutting mm-hmm. out the boston <laughs> bruins as you're gearing into playoffs uh definitely didn't have that on the bingo card but again it shakes things up in the wild card conversation it's not just the fact that they beat the bruins i think through 40 minutes they held the bruins to just eight shots on goal their defense is making it impossible to score and if you do get through their defense Lindgren has been standing on top of his head between the pipes. So the Capitals are extremely scary right now, and they're probably leading the charge when it comes to claiming that playoff spot. Also, the numbers shifted. Yesterday, heading into the games, you had the Red Wings sitting at plus 110 to make the playoffs. As of this morning, you got the Capitals sitting at plus 120 to secure the win. And even though they're going back-to-back, you're going against the Flyers team, unfortunately, Donnie, that is struggling to score for Mm. one all of a sudden struggling to keep pucks out of their net. So if the Capitals can just hold them yet again and post a goal or two, then they're stamping their ticket. So, Casey, as we look at where the things stand around the Eastern Conference wild card race, your Tampa Bay Lightning have already clinched that playoff spot. It is a battle for the second and final. The Caps, 89 points. The Red Wings, 89 points. The Penguins, 88 points. And the Flyers still holding on ever so slightly with 87 points. And all four of those teams have just one game remaining. We'll talk about the one tonight between the Capitals and the Flyers in just a moment. If you had to pick it right now, who claims the final wild card spot in the Eastern Conference? Right now, had to make a decision. I value my wallet. I'm going to go with the Capitals. Uh, I wanted to pick the Red Wings so bad, but even if the Caps and the Red Wings win, I think the Caps secure that spot. Plus, the defense that they're playing with, the veteranship that's that's stepping up for this team. And again, you go into the playoffs with a top-notch goaltender, then you're looking at making a pretty complete run here. So I'm going to go with the Capitals at this moment. Let's take a look at some action on the ice tonight, which includes South Philadelphia. That is those Washington Capitals on the road to take on the Philadelphia Flyers. The FanDuel Sportsbook showing the Flyers as a favorite tonight at a minus 146 price and a total listed at five and a half. Now, me as a Flyers fan, if we're not going to be able to make the playoffs, you want to take the Pittsburgh Penguins down with you. So maybe the Flyers get hammered tonight (laughs) by Washington, which allows Washington to get into the playoffs and the Pittsburgh Penguins to have that not-so-nice maybe finish to that regular season. But what happens on the ice tonight in your respective mind here, Casey, between the Flyers (laughs) and the Capitals? I'm supporting your statement, Donnie. I'd like to see everybody just go down crumbling uh, together. Why not? But yeah, with the total here, I played on it for a second. I was kind of leaning towards the under five and a half because, again, you're looking at a Capitals team that just held the Bruins to 16 shots on goal total through 60 minutes of play, as well as no goals. Um, And they're doing really well at being consistent with limiting their opponent to two or less goals. With that said, you also have the Flyers struggling to get goals on the board. If they do, you're looking at an average of about two goals. So you're looking at two teams that put up less than three goals per performance. So I like the under five and a half. I like the plus money value of 100 right here. Um, If that freaks you out a little bit because playoffs, all the things, uh, you can look at the alternate goal total of under six and a half at minus 164. I also really like the alternate puck line for the Caps at plus two and a half here, as well as the Caps to pick up the third period goal because that's where they – put the nail in the coffin and secure their ticket. So those are my best values for tonight. But I see the Capitals taking this one. I think they're going to have a chip on their shoulder and be extra confident. I think the Flyers come in as a favorite just because of the Capitals' typical road record. But 
none of that's really coming into play right now. The Caps are just hungry, and their defense is ter- on the terror. So as Casey said, and as we saw those playoff odds change for the final spot in the Eastern Conference, plus 120, the Caps now the shortest number. It is virtually their money line price on the road tonight in Philly, plus 122. If the Capitals win, they are in to the playoffs. That is the most simple of all the factors. The Red Wings also in action tonight. A hefty road money line favorite in Montreal, minus 176. Detroit would need a Washington loss to Philadelphia and a win on the road over the Canadiens. Casey, anything we need to pay attention to elsewhere on the ice tonight? Uh, Yeah, you've got the Maple Leafs taking on the Panthers. I like the Panthers' money line here. I know that, again, they secured their ticket to playoffs, but you're talking about a head coach that's still not pleased with their play. He wants to start seeing that playoff level, and the Panthers are going to have to bring the heat tonight. And plus, they're 12-1 and when playing after two days of rest, so I like those odds also. Uh, Bruins' money line should be good to go. I like an under five and a half total versus the Senators because their goaltending has put, kind of kept them in any kind of conception yesterday. Uh, Hurricanes money line as well. Check out some power play points with Jarvis and company, and that's what I've got for tonight. Casey Hudson, thank you so much. Can't wait for the Lightning jersey in just a few days. More on the early lineup next. <laughs> 